next phase will be a wetsuit. Everyone gets a wetsuit today. Uh, it looks like she's being handed to you inside out. So make sure before you put it on, you know which side is the front, which way it goes, all this. Okay? Underneath your wetsuit, anything uh, synthetic is great. Uh, wool, silk, whatever, polypro, whatever. Any kind of uh, synthetic material is awesome to wear. You just do not want to wear cotton under your wetsuit. Uh, whitey tidies, that's your own deal. If you want to wear underwear and all you have on is like your little cotton underwear, that's your choice. But the wetsuit works best skin to neoprene. So if you don't have a bathing suit, feel free to go commando style. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you decide to go commando style under the wetsuit, please use our changing room. No problem. Is that real None of that. Okay. <laughs> If you have a bathing suit on though, please just change out in the lawn because it will make the process go much faster. There's only like five changing rooms. So if you feel comfortable getting down besides if you're naked, um, just put on the wetsuit out in the grass so we can get the show rolling. Okay? Once you've got your wetsuit and your shoes on, go take your dry clothes, any of your belongings, lock it up in the car. Um, what you also want to leave in the car, anything you don't want sacrificed to the river gods, okay? Uh, wedding rings, important jewelry, wallet, cell phones, anything you don't want lost, you want to take it off and leave it in the car, okay? What you should bring out of the car, anything you might need in case of medical emergency. So asthma inhalers, epi pins for bee stings, Benadryl, insulin, sugar, uh, if you need like a snack or something, if you're Once we're on the water, we're like an hour from the finishing care. So if you're like, Katie, I need my inhaler or I'm going to stop breathing. Well, if your inhaler's in the car, there's nothing we can do for you. So oh, bring it. Saying, all right? Yeah. Okay. It's Everybody so clear on that? Yes. yes. Cool. So you got your, your uh, beds in hand, belongings locked away. Head back over. We'll finish the outfitting process. Yeah. Breathing water? Yeah, I'll get there. Uh, we'll finish getting outfitted. It will get uh, everyone optional fleece. That's an extra layer for warmth. The water is 40 degrees. We will be in the shade a lot too. So if you're concerned with being cold, you might want a fleece. Otherwise, you can just grab a splash top. This is um, like a raincoat. Kind of helps to shed the water. Final stages, PFD, personal flotation device. Maybe you know that. Life jacket. Okay. We'll all get those. They'll be buckled tight and ready, cinched, ready for the water when we leave here. You'll also get a helmet and a paddle. Final step, car keys in hand. You're going to put that in our lockbox, and we will put it away while we're on the way. Okay? Now, questions, sunscreen. You want to wear sunscreen, that's great and all, but uh, we're going to be fully covered besides our hands and our face, so we don't need to spend like four hours lathering our whole body with sunscreen. Mm. <laughs> Sunglasses or prescription glasses. If you want to wear that stuff, that's fine. Most of the time people don't wear them, they end up just dangling around their neck and in the way. But I won't tell you not to bring it. Some people like to have sunglasses. So if you do, just make sure you have croquis, some type of retention device to keep it attached to your head. If you don't have that, we sell it. If you don't want to buy it, we have string and duct tape in the shop here. And that's okay. Yeah. But either way, make sure you've got it so that your glasses don't become trash. Okay. And then finally, water. If you like to bring water on the river, that's fine. Uh, we ask just to try to keep that to a minimum so that we don't have all this clutter in the boat. It also should be in a bottle that can be clipped into the raft. So a Nalgene like that. Just no like classic water bottles floating free. Um, on the water subject, if you feel like you'd like to bring it, that's fine. But most of the time, people never even touch their water bottle because they're getting force fed water on the trip. But again, if you feel like you'd like to bring it, that's cool. Okay? Anyone have questions about all that? So we we'll use those instead of shoes. Right. We'll okay. give you. We'll give you shoes. All right. Cool. Yeah. 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 If we have shoes, or they have to be your shoes. You can wear your own shoes, but I will say that ours are neoprene. Yeah. Okay. And they'll have your feet stay warm. Okay. okay. All right. Everybody stoked? Yeah. yeah.
toilet up before you wrap yourself in neoprene. Otherwise, if you're ready, right this way.